people last episode were a little bit upset by the fact that I uh, basically gave up on the immortality event. Now I was almost certain, and I'm, I'm still not entirely sure whether or not that was the uh, that was the resurrection event rather than the immortality event. You guys were saying that it could have been the immortality event. Honestly, we've had like the last semi-historical series we did, we immediately became immortal, and almost every series before that, we were immortal. Um, so, you know, I'm trying to look to get it 50-50 anyway, so it's not a big deal, but, you know, it would have been nice to, uh, nice to have played Immortal, I guess, for a little bit, and then sort of abdicated or something like that, but, but for now, I think it's a bit more challenging like this, I mean, this is a difficult mod anyway, right, but I kind of like to keep that, like, over time, we're going to build up so much control and so much influence to get that long rain bonus that we're going to be unstoppable. I mean, we're already in a great situation anyway, I don't want to make it too easy for us, you know, otherwise I think it would get pretty boring, so, this episode... The plan is, I said it last episode, but this time I actually mean it, we're going to become Emperor. Like, we got a little distracted last episode with the whole war with the, uh, with the whole war with Rome and shit like that. So, this time, I think we become Emperor. Now, this seems to be a pretty obvious way. I think if we take out Epirus, I think that should give us everything we need to make, or at least enough. What are we up to? 20? Oh my god, shit, we only control 30%. Alright then, um, we could, now I don't necessarily want to make the Basilia... Uh, other with the Byzantine Empire here, just because it's not really on our to-do list, right? We want to take Macedonia or Macedon, and we want to move over into Persia rather than heading up into Europe. To my knowledge, he actually never went past, Alexander the Great never went past sort of, you know, Macedonia itself, or, or Macedon, or however the hell you say it, this, this, this title here specifically. So, heading up beyond that sort of defeats the point of the series. We can become Emperor in other ways as well. Like, there, there might just be enough land on this side, on Anatolia, to be able to grab that... Um, to grab that empire level title anyway. We only need 60%. Normally it's 80% for an empire, isn't it? Uh, we currently control half of what we need. So realistically, we only need 60 titles. It says you control 30%, 27 out of 90. Well, that's just not accurate at all, is it? Um, yeah, we, we only need about 60 titles. Apparently slightly less than that due to some, uh, wacky game calculations there. So, to be honest, if we take out Glacier, I think that might give us everything we need. Um, alongside maybe picking up a couple of these provinces, like I said, Epirus as well, which is going to be our goal this time around. Oh, yeah, shit. We're in debt. Um, let's let it tick. Let's let some time tick. I've ransomed some people off, just to try and get us out of the, uh, out of the negative gold here, which isn't ideal. What else could we do to try and get a little bit of cash in place? Um, oh, we can't even set up our titles again, can we? Because we still need some gold for that. Aha! This will do it. Oh, he's got 100 gold. You know what? That'll do it. That's fine. Right, okay, that's, oh shit, 2300 men, Christ. Luckily we've got a lot of vassal levies, but goddamn. Okay, um, right, uh, bring you boys up to here. Oh, you know what, we can bring those boys up to there as well. Oh, we got 4,000 men apparently coming from this duke here, Christ, he's quite strong. He's also a religious enemy. Um, we may want to tidy up our internal round politics before we become an emperor, I'd say. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a big fan of having a vassal with 4,000 men just... Uh, just sat there, basically, as a different religion. I think we need to deal with that before we do much else. Right, get you boys up to Nicomedia. Let's get uh, this unit merged as well. I'm being, like, way too overcautious. We clearly don't need... What is that? We clearly don't need 13,000 men to deal with this small revolt. But, you know, just in case. We don't lose too many troops either. There we go. Right, we are done. Thank you very much. Now, we can banish him, right? Because he's a peasant revolt leader, which would give us his money. I've got to double check here. No, we apparently can only execute him. Do we gain his gold, though, if we execute him? I mean, we should if we're his liege, right? Oh, we're not his liege anymore. That explains it. Um, we could ransom him off. He'll say no, because he has no interest in him at all. We could just... And we could... What can we do? Can we recruit him, then imprison him? Okay, right. It didn't work anyway. We can recruit him, imprison him, so we become his liege, and then execute him or banish him, which in turn would give us his cash, but we got unlucky with it, so never mind too much. Right, okay, then. Um, retinues. Retinues are, are great. 350 cap, so it's going to be a long time before we can get there, but as we found out, it's like one of these give us, uh, I mean, it's just this one, isn't it? Martial professionalism give us that. I don't mind getting that at this stage. Like, we've got Call of Adventure, which gives us the levy size in the galleys. Oh, man, that gives us a lot more, though, doesn't it? Oh, that gives us 37% extra morale. Oh, shit, that's huge. I think upgrading these two will give you all the keys to success you'll ever need. Fuck everything else. When you've got troops with an extra, what is that? 100% morale, so they've got double morale, double the organization, triple the supply, um, plus your retinue size as well, on top of double your levy size, you know, 150% of your galley size as well, additional that is, uh, it's huge, and plus the reinforcement rate is massive as well, that, that's insane, getting all of these would be great, now I'm pretty sure there are also other things as well that increase your, your army morale, is there not? Um, yeah it is, that top one there, skirmish tactics increases the morale, I assume of the relevant troop count, 
but I'm not entirely sure. The only way you'd be able to tell for, for proper, you know, to be able to tell properly with, with that does affect the relevant troops to check the files. Um, it's kind of difficult to do so otherwise, short of, you know, charging in a bunch of cavalry, seeing how well they last, and then charging exactly the same amount into exactly the same battle and hoping it's the same. You know, it's kind of difficult to tell otherwise. Right, Epirus, my good friends. We are going to say glorious conquest of Epirus. Oh shit, we need like 200 gold for that, don't we? Oh shit, we need a thousand prestige as well. My god, that's expensive. I'm actually thinking business focus. It seems like we're always in a gold deficit. The business focus, assuming they haven't touched the event that gives you the ability to debase the mints for 100 gold apiece, I think that's going to give us a ridiculous advantage compared to everyone else. 100 gold would do a lot, right? You know, we only need 100 more gold to declare a glorious conquest. And if we can do that as much as we want, assuming we've got the prestige, why the fuck wouldn't we do it? Did I not say, like, a couple of episodes ago that, that you get more authority back from declaring the war than you do... Uh, from winning the war than you do declaring the war, so that we're constantly gaining uh, the prestige out of it. Or the, the authority, I guess. An old noble descended from the ancient uh, Parthian aristocratic family visits your court. Uh, gain one diplomacy, gain one intrigue. I'll take the diplomacy, thank you. It's pretty decent. I quite like that little system there of gaining a little extra... Uh, I wonder what that's part of. Is that maybe a... I don't know, find a hobby? Business focus? Who knows? Why have I got find a hobby? Jesus. Um, right, what do we want then? We could groom an heir. That will make up for the fact that we've lost the family focus. Find a hobby is good, don't get me wrong. Um, could potentially give a strategist or something relevant to that. Um... I mean, go traveling gives us 10 authority, and we could fulfill that pretty much instantly. Prepare a war chest gives us 10% national tax modifier for another 5 years. That's not a huge amount. That's probably not worth it. I, I mean, what's 5% at 3.34? Nothing. I'd rather groom an heir for now, just in case so we can try and get ourselves a son. Now, the other thing that we really want to try and change as soon as possible is this succession law, because having agnostic cognatic seniority is a bit shitty. Um... What do we need to get Primo? Or even, like, Tanistry or anything, to be honest with you. Highly or maximum centralization. This one is... Highly or maximum centralization again. Uh, that's basically it. So we just need to become centralized. And again, to become centralized, we need to increase our... What is it? Our divine right? Yeah. So we can get that one... Uh, well, not relatively soon. We're a fifth of the way there. Before this guy dies, I reckon we can get that. No problem. So we might be able to get our sales primogeniture so that we can try and work on that decent sum without, you know, risking the round going to this crappy guy who's really, really awful. One of your slaves is distinguished themselves and believe they might be blah, blah, blah. So one thing I did notice, I did do a little bit of research, is um, we can buy slaves for our camp. So we can't do slave raiding anymore, even though we're at... Basically, there are five slave levels. We're at uh, fourth, which is almost the highest one. As you can see there, minus 40%, minus 40% to both. We can buy slaves for 400 gold, which would take us up to that fifth level, and give us half build time and half build cost, minus 50% to both, respectively. Um, 400 gold, though. Jesus, that's what I'm hoping this, uh, that's what I'm hoping the business focus actually does something useful. An extra 5% fertility there. Is that on top of, maybe that's on top of the whole grooming and air thing. That'd be kind of useful. And you know what, I feel like you only fulfill this if you have, isn't it, if you, now I was thinking maybe it's if you only have an heir, but it must be only if you have a, an adult child. So when our daughter, in, in like, what's that, like, eight years time, we're gonna lose that ambition. Which gives us plenty of time for a son, don't get me wrong. How old's our wife at this stage? She's 25. Um, yeah, sure, why not? I, I'm, I'm willing to see that through. We don't need to, like, get ourselves a fresh wife or anything. Okay. We've basically got to kick around and wait. We could take again some of these smaller provinces, because they are basically just fresh for the pickings sat there. Oh, shit, we can slave raid. Maybe it's just on a cooldown, then. I mean, basically, I've got to do that, haven't I? Why would I not do that? Declare war, slave raid. That's going to give us our minus 50% to both build cost and build time, and that, in turn, is just going to make us insanely powerful. Now, to my knowledge... It doesn't disappear after we disappear. If we die, we still gain that modifier. We don't have to worry about anything like that. Oh, don't even try it. There we go. Right, let's merge these troops together. Get us on the... Oh, wait. Are we not leading troops? Now, I'm pretty sure leading troops in this doesn't affect your fertility, does it? Aggressive offensive war. Oh. I never noticed that. Build time plus 25% national... Oh, right. Shit. How long does that last for? Is that what we got maybe for our glorious reconquest? I hope not. That's, that's really bad. I wish they'd have told us we'd have got that beforehand. Man, we need, like, the bigger interface mod or something, because it's really difficult trying to tell apart all these different... Like, look at this. That's, like, a ridiculous amount of modifiers we've got there. Right, that's uh, somebody to ransom off, if nothing else. We might be able to get that glorious conquest quicker than I thought. 92%. Oh, come on. Just surrender. Come on, just surrender. Please don't make me siege in this mod. I hate it. Right, there we go. Thank you very much. And let's see if that's worked. Well, let's get the troops out of there as well. We don't want them attrition into death. Get out of there. Right, okay. Troops down. That should give us our minus 50, minus 50. Yeah, look at that. Slave economy. That's so, so good. Now, I assume there are no levels above that. There can't be, right? Um, 
No, no, the option to buy slaves to your camps has now disappeared. We can free slaves, which does something that I guess we're not really interested in. God knows what that would do. I mean, obviously, we're not going to do it because that was just lowering our build cost and build time for absolutely no gain by the looks of it. Yeah, this is great. This is going to help out a lot. I'm really glad we, we legalized slavery when we did, which sounds like a weird thing to say. Um, My friend, how about... Okay, now you're not interested. Can we... I don't know, glorious reconquest them? What have we got here? Oh, man, we killed slavery right again. How the hell does that work? Wait, can we go even higher? I assume that's just going to give them the... Give us the authority. Give them the sack modifier. And we'll gain three slaves captured. I don't think we'll gain the slave level. I don't think that's possible. I mean, if it is, obviously, that would be insanely good. Let's... I mean, we can always try it, right? There's no harm in it. Um, we've already declared war on you. What about you? Glorious conquest of Bulgaria. Um, there's no slave raid on this one. What about this dude? We're in, uh, aggression with him, aren't we? Uh, sorry, a, a, a pact? What is it called? Help me. Uh, truce. We're in a truce with that dude. Jesus. We can slave raid this guy, though. Why not? Let's see if it actually works. If we can get, like, I don't know how high that would stack. Mi minus 100% both. That seems like it would be broken as hell, right? I mean, I, I again, I assume we, we can't get more than minus 50% because that would be extremely broken. Right, you guys can stand down. Yeah, thank you. Wait, special event troops, really? My mum must, must, must have accidentally got an army from there, right? Okay. Right, come on, team. Squad up. We're off to go grab ourselves some slaves. There's 7,000... Wait, are those... Is that this guy? Oh, wait, it's one of his vassals. Look at that. Shit, I, I should probably take that into consideration. Well, that's, that's the best part of Holy Fury, right? Is that when you go to declare war on people, their tribal allies are included in the troop calculation, so you're not worrying about, you know, declaring war on a realm that's going to be way too difficult to take out. In fact... Sure. In fact, these guys could put a pretty decent fight up if they actually unified quickly and got some good commanders. Because, I mean, that's just one vassal, right? So when you got all of his vassals in this and they're all equally as powerful, they could really do some damage. I don't think we need to... Yeah, look at that. They could potentially do some damage to us here. I mean, they've got almost the same amount of troops. We've just got like a thousand more on them here. Oh, no. It's, it's basically equal. Damn. Um, you are a different religion, so I'm going to denounce you and give you a reason for arrest. I'd like to deal with the whole round politics after this as well. Yeah, you know what? They actually might put up a decent fight. We're going to go into mountains. They're going to get there after we get there, though, so that's fine. Right, let's give it a go. This could be this could be a problem. Arrows, arrows everywhere, your men shout as they point to the sky. A whole volley of arrows fly at your troops. So many, they seem to be blotting out the sun. Good reference. I think just because of our, our guy's ridiculous martial skill, we might take this. Yeah, their, their left flank and our... Oh, sorry, their right flank and our left flank are both falling equally. Oh, my God, we can take the trait direct leader. Boom. Well, that's going to change it. That's going to change it. Well, look at that. Immediately start falling apart there. There we go. 44%. Let's put those troops down. How to build a well. Oh, nice. That's what I was after. Right. So what that means is we now have a ridiculously low build cost. Minus 20% build time. Sorry, build time is the important one. Um, minus 20% on that. Plus our slave labor as well. You'd imagine this would be kind of lower, right? Slave labor is what? Minus 50%. On top of our minus 70% as well. That would be minus 70% including the book. And we're still at like 200 days on some of these promises. Really? Maybe the calculation just had, hasn't added up yet. Let's, let's give it some time. Maybe, maybe it needs like a, a few weeks to tick or whatever. Right. You guys are gone. Get out. And this is the promise we're trying to take for slaves in it. So we might as well just assault them one down quickly. And again, we'll assault this down as soon as possible because they do have some troops kicking around in our capital. Is it, who's this guy? Um, oh, wow. They've got more provinces up there. Right. Fair enough then. Um, have we got anything we can just quickly attack down? It's got four level 4.5. I'm actually just going to assault this one down as well so we can close this war out without having to walk all the way back to Constantinople to counter siege things. Come on, please. Goodbye. 98%, uh, you fucker. Right, we'll, we'll go hit his capital as well, then why not? 99%. We've got ticking war score as well, so they might not be able to get the capital before we can surrender out this war. There we go, 100%. Nice. Okay, is that going to give us a higher amount of slaves? I, I kind of hope not, because it seems like it would make this game insanely easy if we got down to the, the really low build cost and really low build time modifiers. Right, I've got the auto save turned on because I did have a crash last episode. I sneakily edited it out so you'd never know, but obviously now I've ruined that, eh? Um, right. No, it's still slave economy. Let's give it some time because we have seen this before. It does take some time to tick over. Um, we'll let it go to October and then we'll just double check it again. No, okay. Well, that's a good thing, I think, so that we're not completely broken. Yeah, look at that, though. Because the, the how to build a well has added on there as well. 11 gold, 110 days. You know what? With our... I think we're over, we're collecting taxes right now. Oh, you know what? We don't even have a steward. If we get this dude overseeing construction, is that not going to make it all instant to build? Oh, shit. Look at that. Oh, no way. Oh, we've broken it. We're in. Like, this is, this is so good. So it's 11 gold with the business focus. I think we can break even. And we're going to get the buildings out of it as well. Oh, shit. And that's in every province. This is why it's so good 
to keep multiple holdings under your capital. You know, people people were sort of we, we were in a little bit of an argument about that with the whole when the world stopped making a cent make, making sense series. But this is exactly why I want to do things like this because look at this now. We can just build so much stuff so cheaply and stack ourselves up. Like, watch this. Ready? We're just going to build this. Oh, man. It's, it's bound to the end key, isn't it? And we can just keep building up over and over and over without having anything to worry about here. Like, the only thing that is going to be a limiting factor now is the actual technology points. Everything else doesn't matter. Okay, you do get some, some weird things like this where it does take more than a day to actually build it. But that's just because the game can't keep up with the, with the demand to build. This is insane. If only we could raid... I assume we can't. Yeah, owner is not allowed to loot. If we could raid, we'd be in the, the world's greatest situation. The only other thing I might want to get is the dragon amulet. I talked about it very briefly, but the dragon amulet from China, or even the scholar bureaucrat or something, so that we could have our own steward collecting taxes and try and break even on it with that with that way as well. You could perform statecrafts, whatever. This is uh, this is going to get very, very powerful very quickly, I think. We might as well just sit around right in Alexandria and keep building it up, eh? So, advanced scribes, that's going to give us uh, tax... We don't want to lose our tax income. We want to build everything up as much as possible first and try and get the highest tax income possible before we before we change it back. My God, I wish they'd not changed the enter key. That's so annoying. That's, that's really fucking with my brain. Right. I might have, to, might have to edit that back. Somebody remind me. So, that's going to give us levy size plus, like, 1%. That's going to give us, like, 0 0.5 taxes. This is so good. Levy size again. Like, anything that gives taxes and levy size, I'm absolutely going to go for as soon as possible. Oh, we just lost our... Right, okay, well, there we go. We lost our steward. Um, he's incapable. Let's see if we can hire someone better. Not that we need it. Not that we really need it, though, because it's going to just... I mean, our build modifier is already down to a day anyway, right? Um, let's go join court. Yes. So you'll do. Absolutely. Can we even get women on our council? If not, we'll invite this dude as well, just to be sure. My god, this guy's a good character. Zealous, diligent, paranoid is fine. It's a good trait. And not, not maybe in terms of the actual character's... Um, not in terms of uh, immersion, I guess, but in terms of the actual character itself, it's a great trait. Ambitious, just, cult of Serapis, welcome to court. Um, I must find a court physician, you're right, and we actually can't afford it still. I should have probably got one of those first, eh? Right, steward, um, you'll do, 17, absolutely, why not? Uh, let's get you... Now, maybe even collecting taxes better just for the... Just, just in the short term until we can build up enough capital to build this up better. I'm not sure. Um, speaking of which, there's our court physician. Is that going to cost us the 10 gold? No, it actually didn't with the event. Right, that's worth remembering for the future then. Have we got any other minor tiles we can give out? Designate Regent. I mean, while we're doing this then, while we're building up the realm quite massively, why don't we give, why don't we use this opportunity to revoke our religious enemies' titles? So we go Ruler, yes. We go Not My Religion. Um, and then we'll just go ahead and revoke everybody who's a Duke or... Well, everybody higher than a Baron, I guess. So, you, my friends, the High Park of Nicaea. Now, we did get the... Did we not get the Religious Revocation title? Oh, we need 25 gold. Wait. I swear last episode, because we, like, expelled the Jews or something. Did we not get... Yeah, we are intolerant. Oh, we just need the ability to actually revoke titles. Which, for that, we need... Uh, we need this one here. So, we still need to be moderately centralized for that shit. So, we're basically still limited by Divine Right, are we? That's going to take some time. You know what might be good then? While we've got this build time and build cost modifier being so incredibly low. Going into a hospital in order to... It's going to cost us 25 gold and it's going to take one day to build. Why would we not do that as soon as possible to give us the tech points that we need? In fact, we can invest in one already apparently. Um, taxes on everything. We can build trade post. We already have a trade post that we can't really do shit all with because it's... Oh man, it's so cheap. Good God. Um, do we have any other trade posts going through our provinces? Not really. In hindsight, I should have kept Rhodes, and I also should have kept um, Sparta there as well. Ah, it's not a big deal. We can, we, we'll probably inherit them back anyway, right? Because Rhodes, we were constantly re-inheriting. Let's take a look here. Um, yeah, we're his heir. I mean, we could try and get rid of him and try and get Rhodes back that method and build a trade post there. Why not? I mean, we, we, before we only gave it away because we had like four out of four domain size. Now we're fine. Ah. Uh, yeah, let's give it the hospital investment as soon as possible. Kind of hoping we would get more... Uh, let's, let's turn the autosave back down again. I don't think it's necessary. That's just me being overly cautious. It's slowing the game down quite a lot. Ah, speaking of Dragon Amulet, this is it, right? A noble by the name of Jia Chang, Jia Chang, Chang, wow, I can't say that. Zhi, Zhao, Zhao Changid came to court today seeking asylum. You're welcome to stay. And then I think if we protect him from China, he gives us the Dragon Amulet, right? From what I remember, I haven't done this event in quite a long time, so if I fuck this up, you'll have to, you'll have to forgive me like I did with the Immortality event. Although this one is probably slightly less important, I guess. Ah, there we go. His fears, no emissaries of the Chinese Emperor came looking for him. The time's come for me to leave. Take this token, the Dragon Amulet. Right, so now what we can do, I imagine, is still be down to one day build time modifier, but also uh, have him collecting taxes. 
Oh, 97 days. Oh, we're probably like minus 90% now. Hang on, let me do some um, back of the napkin math. So we've got minus 50. We've got um, minus 20 and minus 10. Oh, that's build cost, not build time. Right, okay. Fair enough. Well, that's fine. I mean, it's not like we can build anything anyway, right? So we might as well go for the hospital. 97 days. Fuck it. I mean, we can't afford to keep up the one day build cost modifier anyway. So there's no point. Oh, you know what? We should deal with you. My wife, Nicorette. Tasty. Don't you chew on that if you've got, uh... <laughs> if you're trying to get over a cigarette addiction. Maybe that's a coincidence. Right, you guys get in here. Excuse me? Raiders? Freystein's host. That sounds vaguely Germanic. Not a big fan of that. Typical Germanics. Right, go to you guys. There we go. So stand them all down. Let's just go and take back our holdings in Constantinople. I mean, we can hold it, right? Can we hold temple holdings? Uh, classical. Can hold. Cannot use gavel kind. Ah... No access to gavel kind succession laws. So, that first episode, you guys pointed out that if we flip over to type revocation, we get gavel kind, which is why I've been kind of shitting myself trying to take it. Apparently, we can't get it anyway, so it doesn't matter. I wonder whether one will overwrite the other. I, pro I imagine that the... No, I guess it probably wouldn't. I imagine that we probably are limited to not having gavel kind or restricted to not having gavel kind because of the government type. That's got to take priority, right? Oh, we'll find out soon enough. Right. I'll be taking this if you don't mind. Sorry? Are we ill? Oh, no. Just because we built a hospital. Right, got it. Um, Yeah, this has got everything from the base game, so that's great. That's going to give us our tech points if we wanted to. Yeah, so the me medical academy there gives us tech points. The observatory gives us tech points. We probably should have gone into scholarship focus before flipping over to business, but, you know, business has done fucking nothing for us yet. The Sorlik Faith Triumph. Excellent. Whatever that means. Thank you. I'll be taking that one. Goodbye, Pontifex Maximus Aegeos. I should have... I should have revoked his artifact first. He's got treaties on law there. Vassal opinion plus five. That's ah, not that important. I think how to build a well, if I'm not mistaken, also doesn't stack. Oh, no. It's all right. What I mean, it doesn't take up a slot, so it does stack. So what we want to do is try and find, you know, like we did in the When Will the World Stop Making Sense series, if we go uh, artifact. Oh, shit. Do I not have that mod enabled? God damn it. Normally, I go for the artifact search one, which adds a, adds a, adds a trait to people who have um, artifacts that you can seize from them, right? But I'm a fucking idiot, apparently. Completely forgot to do that. Okay, never mind. Um, that's really annoying, because that was such a good strategy of inviting people to court who had artifacts. We could go for the manual, just type it in. Um, although, doing it this method is generally how to... It's just us. Okay, fair enough. When the game ticks by a lot more, say like a couple of hundred years, there should be some more in the game. Uh, peculiar tradition, I'll support it, giving us plus 15% tax for 15 gold. That's definitely worth it, I think. Right, hospital... I mean, this is obviously, like, there's two reasons to build a hospital. It'll also, you know, stop us from dying. Another goddamn daughter, really? She's quick, though. Uh, she's a good backup. Let's go thrift. Let's assign us as a guardian to her. So we've got another quick daughter as well, which I probably should check up on. Princess Basilia. Got the trait of Haughty. The worst trait of all. Thank you. Uh, you are going to get the name. Looking for a good one. Dinosia is pretty decent. Dinosia and Basilia. Demetria. Um, Subia. Come on, give me something good here. Alexandra! Yes, thank you. Great name. That's exactly what I was waiting for. As you ponder new ways to improve your RAM, court physician Himaros appears to you with an idea. Uh, prosperity boost for 82 gold. Absolutely not. A waste of money like the peasants suffer. Mainly because, obviously, we can just reinvest back into the capital for, uh, for an instant return, which isn't normally the case. Oh, man, look at this. The build cost is so low. Travelling alone, I see. How about solo? Um, yeah, let's build, up, build ourselves some mills, eh? Uh, wonderful, thank you. Some tech points, that's what we need. Did we get cultural tech points? We did not. Okay, fair enough. Um, I'm so annoyed that the C button keeps raising my goddamn ships. I need to fix that. Uh, scribes training again. We don't want to build that yet. Levy size, retinue size. Anything that gives taxes. Oh, that's really good. Plus 5% levy size, plus 500 retinue size for a day. And also, like, very little gold as well. That's, that's really, really good. My brother died. This is now our, our aunt is going to inherit the entire empire, so she can disappear, I think. What was that thing? Jesus Christ, that is a Dementor. She's going to suck the soul out of this empire, this, which is exactly why we can't let her inherit. Okay, then. Weird. The only issue with seniority is that we're always going to have a target on our back in regards to um, older family members trying to get rid of us. So we do need to keep an eye on... Um, I might also want to auto-stop plots. Fabricate a claim on the what? Sorry, get out. That's it. Good. That's We've dealt with that problem. So anyone else? Um, no, Nobody really of a high rank. I'm just going to auto-stop plot so I don't accidentally get myself assassinated without realising that people have a plot against me. Because that's the type of thing I do, let's be honest. Right. Okay, then. Uh, let's go back to 
the capital and keep upgrading. I'm basically just going to go holding to holding. So it, it would be, if you're somebody with a lot more patience than me, it might be worth more worthwhile to work out what buildings are good and obviously build those. So actually, you know what, that one that we got a second ago, the martial traditions might be good to build that in every single province. Uh, maybe we can build it in the capital, hang on. M is for martial province, or martial, martial history, martial traditions, whatever the hell it was called. Oh, primitive martial traditions needs local administration 14. Uh, do we have that? I think you're lying to me. Excuse me? Humanism. Level to what? Oh, wow. Okay, we can get that pretty much immediately. Ah, it, uh, it's going to cost us tech points. How much? Okay, it's going to cost us quite a lot. No, I don't want to do that. We want to save it for the divine right as soon as possible. Although that is great, don't get me wrong. It's definitely not that great. Oh, man, we get like 55 pipe in there for 36 gold. Done. Good deal. That's a great deal. My daughter. It seems your ward, Princess Basilia of Alexandria, has made a cunning plan to sell cider to the other children. Um, cunning. Oh, that's a great trait. Experimentality pl damage plus 10% is massive. Yeah, encourage her with her plans. Sell cider to the other children. <laughs> it's like being back in my uh, being back in my hometown. Right, let's build all of these things. Uh, Cataphracts and horse archers, massive. Um, we gain the trait patient because my careful maneuvers in battle? Oh, shit. My careful maneuvers in... Oh, that battle. Right, I see what you're saying. Oh, we're going to win that now. You shouldn't, have, you shouldn't have notified me. They would have got away with that too if we didn't gain the trait patient. We want you meddling kids. Right, stand the troops down. This is so broken. I love this so much. I'm so glad we were able to do this now. It's, it's partially down to the slave camp, I will admit. I love the idea of just instantly, the emperor shouts out of his window, you know, build me, pikeman, and instantly all the 5,000 slaves or whatever band together just to outfit like 50 dudes. That's so good. Uh, martial traditions, we can get that now. Wait, did we just... Oh, we did get... We just man naturally ticked up to uh, plus one humanism. That's great. Or level one humanism, I should say. That's incredible. So our retinue size is probably fairly good right now then, eh? Oh, yes it is. Shit, we can actually get some, uh... Oh, uh, did I just get rid of Curious in exchange for fucking Cynical? God damn it, what a fool. Um, wow. So we could get ourselves some het Hetairoi. I think it's how you say that. I'm not sure. Which seem incredibly powerful. I mean, Heavy Cavalry plus Pikemen is insanely good because we've got the defense and we've got, obviously, the Pursuit and the... Uh, the do they affect Skirmish? I need to look at the stats again for Heavy Cavalry. I don't normally go for them. Um, that's really good, though. That's like an insanely good... Plus double morale on the... on the Well, both... Both, actually. The Heavy Cavalry also gets it as well. 60% extra attack on Heavy Cavalry is going to be devastating for anybody. Obviously, we can't afford it yet. I would rather invest in the Realm early on, but we've still got opportunities to do this. Just in case... Oh, God. <laughs> I love all these half-finished events. It's so good. Just in case we, you know, lose a slave camp or whatever. The Volcano Inn. In where, you ask? Great question. Terrible news from... As a calamity of unmatched proportions has struck there, walls of fire, fire, lava, and ash have descended upon the unfortunate inhabitants of the region as one of, of, the, of the region. You know, I like that they're leaving that uh, fairly ambiguous this time. I pray for their souls, wherever the hell they are and whoever the hell they are. Open council positions, we need a new court chaplain, you'll do, why not? Um, we've got new important decisions available. Hold a feast? Absolutely not. I'm spending this money on nothing but the realm. I'm going to be a glorious emperor, remembered for years as restoring the... Uh, the glory of Alexandrion, which is a made-up province. My wife, Nicorette, once again, is pregnant. Congratulations. Um, right, next time we can compose a book, I'm going to go for... Oh, no, we'd have to play as a different character to compose another stewardship, but wouldn't, wouldn't we? Um, what would be good? I think maybe going for a diplomacy book probably wouldn't hurt. Because those can give vassal opinion, which is obviously going to be very important as we expand into realms, which are a different... Um, which are a different religion to us in particular. The Seljuk Turks. Interesting. Um, let's take a look at the religion map mode. See what we're looking at right now then. Uh, where is religion? This button. They've changed the icon. So we're looking for Alexandros Ammonite. My god, we are a quite a weak religion, aren't we? Relative to everyone else there. We need to be just proselytizing all the time. I'm, I'm, I'm neglecting my duties as a descendant of basically the god. Oh yeah, I've never really considered it like that. We are the descendant of a, of a god by that. Maybe people have a higher opinion of us. I should probably take a look. I imagine it's like a religious opinion plus 10 or some shit, right? Um, let's go for... I mean, this duchy seems like a pretty good start. I mean, also the duchy right next to our capital probably wouldn't have hurt, eh? But he's already, you know, he's already a ruler of that religion. So he's more likely to, um, more likely to convert it. Let's take a look here. Uh, general opinion minus 10 is not great. Arrest and assassination are increased. So that's something to definitely worry about. Um, thank God for the crossbow. Let's put it that way. Marshal plus 3 is obviously great. Taxes are higher, levies are higher. Oh, oh, city taxes are higher. Everything else is pretty crappy. Build costs plus 5%. Obviously, you know, for us, that's really irrelevant right now. Let's take a look at someone else of our religion. So I assume our wife, right? Opinion of Santa. Um, 
That's so strange. So, because we're the same religion, we get plus 20. But, despite the fact that we're a descendant of Alexander the Great, you know, the, the person that this religion worships, it, it doesn't bear any opinion with people of our same religion, which seems a bit strange to me. Uh, not entirely sure why that would be the case. Man, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, ne next episode, because I'm trying to do these not so heavily edited episodes, because I know people have been asking for that a lot more, and it seems to be, you know, kind of liked. Next episode, what I'll do then is I'll do a lot more of a heavily edited one, where we're just focusing on building ourselves up before we do, like, another major expansion. We'll try and make ourselves kind of OP, I guess. I mean, we're already in the position to do so. It's just going to take time and patience now. So... I'll sort of go through on speed 5, doing some heavy editing, sort of keeping in the important stuff, and we'll, we'll boom up all of these promises as much as possible, and really just come out swinging, right? Go, go in hard. I think that's going to be kind of what we need, because it's been a lot of episodes of sort of sitting around doing not a huge amount. This episode has been a real big stepping stone to allow us to do that, so that's really what we want to go for. Thank you for watching. I'm going to give a big shout out to all of my insane top tier level patrons. Big Dick Timmy, Zachary Harris, Harik, Lucas Holting, Sean Thornton, Haydog, Necrophilin, Croesus, I Am The Lizard King, Joshlin, Dean Tesla, Michael Mullen, Jacob Alexander Fenton, Pelvis Presley, Logan Thorne, Conspired C, Orcs Wolf, Average Gamer 419, Escape, Zazzy 7011, and Jackson Women for their support the insane tier levels on Patreon. Thank you all for your support. And as well to Nathaniel Limburg, Zidini, Brandon Wintonia, Euphrates, Facundo Vasquez, Paul Master, Quasar Fox, Jack Allen, Gabriel Vanders, this list is fucking with my brain, Llewellyn Thomas, Nathan Flores, Jordan DeVries, Tom Connie 2 and 7, Zach McDoggle, Joseph Beer, Jordan Campbell, Harry McGowan, Chris, Sir Thor the Swede, Asero, Nick, Frazier Brennan, The Insane Pickle, Adam Person, and Eagle Kozak, all for their support on Patreon as well. Thank you all for making it possible, this Patreon list is insane, and I never expected it to get this big. You're genuinely keeping the series alive, especially after I keep saying really bad things. Like, apparently last episode I said, fuck the Jews, which, uh, not ideal. YouTube don't really like that.